It's a bit fucking arse about face, this is. Ooh. Where is it? Where's my gadget? Hello. I figured, being as though I am, uh, it's just not a bit noisy. Being as though um, I've been doing a lot of trailer changing of late, um, Monday, Tuesday, and today. Uh, for this last one, uh, I'm going to um, go through all of it as I do, but you're going to see it from my point of view. All right. So. Brace yourself. I will do it my way and the right way. You'll see what I mean when I get to it anyway. So I'm going to come out of this place, go to our yard, drop this one off, pick one up, and so on and so forth. Ready? Come on then, let's give it a divot. That's not worth it. Time is we set the way, put them on to I look like a Dalek. Short up. Aha. Ignore the senses. Ignore the warnings. That sounded a bit like the, the robot off lost in space, that didn't it? <laughs> Kill the Robertson family! indeed as we traverse through this little bit of a yard we'll make our way out and then oh yes and then we will make sure that everything is as it should be nothing coming that way nothing coming this way not that he interferes me anyway over this bloody great big lump in the road. Oof. 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 Oh, good grief. Must have me paper working me Donny. So I can zap it on the way out the door. Here we go. Hold on tight, ladies and gentlemen. We are on our way. I am going to be quite hyper because the sun's out. Please let me go. Let me go, let me go. Yeah, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Are you with me? Are you with me? I should fucking go go too. Ah, in the summertime when the weather is fine, you can stretch right up and look the sky. You can women fly with the women. You got women on your mind. I've no idea the words are. <laughs> I think it goes from like this. Eh? In the summertime when the weather is fine, you can stretch right up and turn to the sky. When the weather's fine, you got women, you got women on your mind. Have a drink, have a drive, go out and see what you can find. If a daddy's rich, take a ride for a meal. If a daddy's ball, then do as you feel. Hit along the lane in a turn and a turn to any five. I mean, that'd be really ridiculous to be fair, when you think about it. It's, a, it's, a, it's a definitely a song of the times, you know what I mean? Whereas, to be honest with you, you're not allowed to drink and drive these days. And plus, doing a ton 25, I think that's a little bit fast, don't you? Ooh, isn't he a nice guy? If he wasn't parked on double yellow lines, we'd be all right, wouldn't we? Fuck wit.
Let's be going this way. Do -do, do -do. Ooh. Put on the accelerator, waiting for the gearbox to do something. Round we go, round we go. Where we go, nobody knows. <laughs> what? Hey, look, at the end of the day, sun's out. I'm happy. I love it. One thing that I will say though, because I'm in this old banger of a CF, it is like a fucking microwave in here. I'm not kidding you. Honestly, my testicles are stuck to the insides of my legs. Ooh, it's not nice. No, my armpits are like lava. Unfortunately, they smell like a skunk's ass on a bad day. But we have to put up with these things. I've wiped, I've sprayed, I've wiped and I've sprayed, which sounds rather weird, but hey, just go with it. I'm not going to wind the wind up because it's too fucking warm. My top lip is like a poxy waterfall. It keeps pissing with water that much. Sweat, 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 sweat. But we can always go, don't worry, be happy. You know what I mean? That's what I say. Don't worry, be happy. Yeah. What is it? Uh, don't worry. <laughs> you know what I mean? Here's a little song I wrote. Might not sing it note for note, but don't worry. Oh, well, i And be happy. Don't worry, be happy. Yes! Everybody has to be happy sometime. But not everybody can be happy all the time. I know that's definitely fucking same for me. <laughs> but I do tend to get a little bit hyper when the old sun's out. And what I have noticed as well, which is, um, yeah, it's practically certifiable, is that I do tend to go on and talk and chatter and do all sorts of wobbly stuff with nobody around. I'm talking like now there's no really about it. It's only you listening to me later on, so I can do all this stuff, sound like a complete numpty, and I ain't even got cameras on. You know what I mean? I, I was doing it earlier. I found myself doing it. I'm like, oh, this is... Blah. And I'm like, Jace, there's nobody here. Why are you doing this? It's because I'm going cooking with the sun's out. It just sends me... Whoa, whoa, blah, 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 blah. It really does, honestly. It sends me up the wall. Anywho, we are up here in the Canuck area. Well, this is clusters. Is it, what can you call this? Actually, here's a thought for you. Right? This area is actually Church Bridge. Right? That once was and is no longer. Yes, I would like to be able to do that, but unfortunately, I've got all this lump on the back of me. We're going for it! We're going for it! Yay! Happy days are here again. Nice and steady. Keep an eye on that old wheel there, just in case. You've got to give him some room as well, because he's not really utilising all the room he has. He's taking up a bit of back of mine and all. But never mind. We've done it in the end. We got the... And now... As soft as it sounds, right, it, this, it does sound quite soft, but this bit now is bridge down. Church, church, that's, uh, hang on, that's church bridge, this is bridge down. <laughs> yes, weird, isn't it? Really close together. Well, that actually don't really exist anymore, so it doesn't make any difference. Yeah. The A5, this is what we're on, we are on the A5. Shortly we'll be going down Walkmill Lane. In a matter of fact, in about fucking 30 seconds or less. 30 seconds or less, count them down. If you're counting them down right now, you are so sad. Stop it right now, just stop it. Here we go. Now, as we bend ourselves around this little corner here, right, that's what I'm looking at. Those wheels of the trailer in the top mirror and the bottom mirror. Top mirror to start with, and then the bottom mirror as the top mirror disappears and, turn, and all that sees is curtain. You know what I mean? And then you just 
have yourself a bit of a wobble around like this just to see what's going on. You know what I mean? You have to do that. That's part of the part and parcel of it. It's called being observant. Passing Mr. Digger, you take a quick look as you drive past. See, you should all, all of you lot should know this shit anyway. Especially if you subscribe to my channel anyway. Because you lot are the fucking bomb. You're awesome. Absolutely. Sound as a pound. Wicked. The best ever. The toll road, the M6 toll road. Go on to that bit. You can see that bit there. And then we are going to go around this little bit of an island here. That mirror. Swinging around to this mirror. Keeping it wide, checking the wheels, top mirror, bottom mirror. Same with this one. You know what I mean? That's pretty much what you do when you're traversing things like that. It's easy peasy. Well, I say it's easy peasy. I mean, at the end of the day, I've been doing it for 14 fucking years, so I mean, well, I should think it's easy peasy, shouldn't I, really? Oh, ho, ho, love a duck. Right then. This is where the fun begins as we enter the yard of unknown. <coughs> Nothing coming. Let's go then. Taking off my twatty belt, I mean my seat belt. Because I don't need it on. And I want trailer. Ooh, I'm going to park right next to the one I want. How about that? I fucking have it. So if I wheeze that round like that, and then I wheeze it back round like that, mate, are you, are you, are you paying attention? Right? Checking that mirror as well again. And then you just look out the window. And you try your best to drive that trailer in without hitting anything else around it. A bit like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think that'll do. Yeah, I think we're in, we're in the lanes, aren't we? It'll do. Near as uh, fuck you to swear, anyway. <laughs> right then, here comes the fun bit. Turn off, I'm going to take my taters off, because I mean, and this, let me just find my ears again, because they're, they're trapped bloody here now. Right then. Here comes the fun bit. What do I want? I want that. So that's got to go in the back door. So I'll put that in my pocket out of the way. Make sure you're still on. Very nice indeed. Back pocket out of the way. Right then. This is sort of my way, okay? We're where this is the disconnect. So we'll go under here. Fetching off the, 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 the dog clip. Right, okay, back. Out the Open the jaws. Climbing up the steps. <coughs> Taking off the Susie's. <coughs> Stepping back down off the catwalk. Did you notice? Up forward, back backwards. Oh, all these testicle things I have to do. Walking around here, and then we are going to look underneath there. Look, can you see? Try to break. Wind in the handle. Now then, right, because we have got Mr. Lift Axle on the floor, this means that the level's slightly different to having the left axle off the floor. So, with the legs, you wind the floor and put a little bit of pressure on. All right, that's all you've got to do, just a bit, not a fat lot. And then we walk around to the back of the trailer. And we're back. <laughs> uh, pick up the number plate, because you don't get forgetting that. And then we can go all the way back. <sighs> and what I tend to do is I put the, uh, the number plate, because I'm using it constantly, on the catwalk there out of the way. And for the next step, initiation on, 
getting the wand on. Yep. And through you fucking noisy cow bag. Drop the suspension down before you disengage. It's heavy. This will help you disengage from the trailer. Let it go. Good onk! Because believe it or not, when it does that, good onk, that fucking sticky bit out from the legs does tend to flex a bit. Right you are. Out we go. <laughs> Speedy. And then we do the old level, 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 level. Lifting the old, can you see that in there? Uh, these are your level of the old suspension off. And then we're gonna go and get our trailer, which is the one next to it. This one's empty, and right? hence the reason why my uh, axles are now, well, the lift axle is now up, which I will show you. Now, because it was a little bit off there, what we do is we hit the button on the old one down here. Shut up. Turn that back on and we lift it up just, just a titty bit, all right? Just to make sure that those legs are off the floor. It's always the best, best to do that anyway. And then we can push. <coughs> Keep going back it. Continue on it. Engaged. Into drive, and then that's all you need. You don't need to go fucking bucko bronco bullshit like ah, I don't none of that crap. That's just crap. That's just stupid. And I will tell you for why. Is because the king pin and the jaws are made of a certain material which is extremely strong. But it's also a type of material, it's, it's got a, a brittle type of, it's like, you know, it shatters, it doesn't bend or break, if you know what I mean, like that, it'll, it'll shatter, but it won't bend. So you don't really want to be forcing shit, there's no need for it, but it is extremely strong, obviously, else it wouldn't have to do the job. You wouldn't withstand the bashing as you bang under it to engage and what have you. So I'll put the clip in. And now I'm putting my lines in, the old scoozies. Never worry about them being tangled up, especially if you're on your test. Oh, so that don't fucking matter, none. Doesn't matter at all. Because you know where they, you'll see them all knotted up, you go, oh, you start panicking because you think you've got to get them all tangled, un untangled. It's like, no, you ain't. Just stick them in. Just plug the fuckers in any which way you like. It's always best to work away from you as you put them in, but you know, whatever. Stepping back down again. As we walk around, lights are on. Happy days, there's my hazards on, there should be. Yes they are, that's right, I was making sure. Checking the tyres, give them a bit of a kick, you know. Feel for the tread. It's like, oh we've got plenty of rubber on there, lots of, lots of air. Sticking the old number plate in. Now, because this is supposed to be empty, but there are the other occasions where it may not be, voila, empty. It's always best to check anyway. Because you don't want to go somewhere expecting to be loaded and you've still got pallets on the back. Lights are flashing. Lights are flashing. Running lights are on as always, yes, they're doing all right, they're fine. Kick the old tyres again, making sure they're fine. Yes, they're all right, they're lovely, aren't they? <sighs> Grabbing out to the old wankled ankle. Oh, that's busted. That's not good. Never mind. And we wind the legs. Oh. Good for me.
<sighs> and then, oh, um, shall I shan't? Oh, fuck it, why not? Let's go and, uh, I've got to go and get myself a pin. A pin. A pin, 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 pin. You can come for a walk with me, what about you? <laughs> Fuck it, we're having one of them instead. La -di -da. It's nice, isn't it? It's a nice day today. Put this on, it saves me scrolling under the fucking trailer to be honest with you. Can't be asked. that on. Put that there. Turn them off because we don't need them on. Gloves in the pocket. Oh, I'm fucking knackered now, I tell you. Honestly. That can go off. We can put the seatbelt back on again now. Hit the level button as we go along the way. Come on then, let's go. Nice and steady. Well then, let's go back and we can go and uh, do the next bit this time, but this time I'm going to do it the right way, okay? So you can't whinge at me, right? Because don't forget, there is a right way and there is a, there is like my way, if you, in a sense, but I will do it the right way for you so you won't, you know, you won't lose out. So remember, this next trailer drop and pick up is going to be the right way. But I will have to cut certain parts out in between hence um, fetching the paperwork and what have you because obviously the, you will you, you know what I mean don't you but uh, the initial drop and then pick up you will see that I'll do that for you okay are you happy I thought you might be mm. <laughs> Just soak it all in, eh? It's just unreal, isn't it? Absolutely. These these traffic lights are a pile of wank. They're like wank in a bag. They really are. Heh! <laughs> Actually, that's quite anatomically correct, isn't it, when you think about it? <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. That is wank in a bag. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just come up with these things. Honestly, I surprise myself sometimes. See, we'll get on these here, right? And I bet you we probably won't be able to get through, even though there's just him in front of me. But because of the lane opposite and the way it's staggered in at an angle, they slew around the front of the vehicle and we just can't get through. And then the lights change back to fucking red again and it's just total bollocks. Realistically, these two lanes opposite should be independent of one another. Because that way, at least then, we'll have a fighting chance to get out. Get ready for this as a demonstration. Mr. Eaton's truck here. And he won't be able to get out. He still ain't going to be able to get out. No, and we're still stuck here. Can we jump these lines? Ooh! Well, that was lucky. 
Normally, you don't do that. He just had to prove me wrong while I got the camera on. That's why he was aid. You know what I mean? That kind of scenario. It's like, oh, quick, there's a weakness. Fuck it. The only problem is now we're going to sit in this load of crap. Junt, 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 all the way down the fucking road. Yeah. My top lip is leaking like a busted faucet. And those of you in America will know exactly what I mean. Talking about America, um, I was uh, speaking to my wonderful friend from the USA, and apparently yesterday it was raining. It was absolutely awesome down the rain. I'm thinking, ha, ah, it's, 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 it's actually got sunshine here for a change. It's so warm, it's untrue. He says, nah, that's not warm, that's cold. I went, what? I said, it's 72 degrees in your, because they go Fahrenheit. I said, it's 72, I went, nah, it's cold. Really? Yeah, when he, you know, talk to me when he's like in about 100 plus. There's a lot, then we can talk. And I'm like, what? I can't cope now, let alone having it that bloody warm. I think, oh, great. But there you have it. Yes, it was very warm. Too late, dude. I thought you were going to go the other way, but never mind. You'll just have to wait. Come on, traffic. Any time today I'll do. It's about that time, the way, you know, where it starts to get a bit, mm, woo, absolute rubbish. And there's nothing you can do about it. Nothing at all, no. I am absolutely baking. I know I'm, uh, I'm working on me uh, on me tan quite well. I mean, it's doing all right. That is not bad at all. I can feel it sizzling away in the sunshine. It's like a fucking slab of ham hanging out the old uh, side of the door. There's untrue. Okay. Is it wrong for me to say that the goth look on women, I will go that far, is just yummy to a degree? I mean, some of them get it wrong, but there are others that do get it really right, and it looks the absolute fucking tits, you know what I mean? It looks awesome. Me, personally, now I couldn't see me looking like that. I look like a right idiot. But I don't mind looking at people who are. Especially the ladies. Oh, it's very cute and nice and all the rest of that sort of shit. I don't know. I just, it's, oh, I find it rather appealing. You know, the long, dark black hair and the tattoos everywhere and the, what else do they wear? Black this and black that and fishnet this and fucking tea leave that or whatever they call it. Is it tea bag shirts? Oh, I don't fucking know. Study boots and rings and fucking piercings. I mean, I don't know why. I don't know why. What it does, it's, it's, yes. Secretly, maybe I'm a fucking SMM freak. <laughs> or is that, or is that MS? No, that's Marks and Spencer's age. Fuck. Thank you, dear. As we turn down this one, uh, checking on our mirrors, making sure we don't climb the curves, watching all the mirrors, and everybody else as well who wants to cut in and cheat and drive in front of you and all the rest of that rubbish that goes with it. Because you have to be. Round we go. Oh yes.
Well, we're doing alright so far. I've got to admit, we are doing alright so far. So far, it so good. Eh? Oh man, my top lip feels like a fucking colander. It's leaking that much. Ladies and gentlemen, we're nearly there. Hurry us. I've got to admit, this part of the journey is not a part that I really hate. And I shall show you why. Well, actually, it probably won't. You won't find out because it'll be clear. But normally, like uh, on the way in, you've got um, all the vehicles parked down the side of the road, which makes it awkward to see. But from this position on the way out is even worse. Absolutely. So you've got those two vehicles there parked on the side of the road, which makes that awkward to get through. You've got this guy here parked on the on the footpath and on the old LVWA lines, which makes it awkward for people to get around from that way. You've got these guys here, right, which are parked on WLA lines, which is not their fault by the way. Right, so I will emphasize that they are delivering pallets to this chep set centre here. Right, and realistically, I think Chep ought to get fucked for it, to be fair. What they ought to do is dig all this right-hand side out and make it into a lay-by for them to park in, but hey oh, whatever. And then you have this lot. I mean, what senseless fuckwit decided to put no double yellow lines all the way down here? Look what you can't see. Fuck all coming from in front of you. And this is the gate that I've got to get into here, so, you know, that's why I have to be careful coming down this, this neck of the woods. But hey ho, we did it in the end. Now I think that that particular part there is a fucking hazard, a bad one at that. Anyway, let's get the, uh, the, the show on the road, shall we? Oop, bastard. Ninety, I want ninety. Oh, give me ninety, please give me ninety. So we'll just do a little bit of a tour up here. We'll find number ninety, stick it in that, and get out the fucking road, you fucking nuisance. Get rid of me stupid suit belt because I don't need it. Get off. Open up with a big old Good Lord, eh? I tell you what, you know, it's like a fucking mountain that stupid thing is. This time, when you're traversing places, like you have to be aware of peopleage as well as everything else. As you can see, they're walking. He's walking where he shouldn't be, by the way. Not on the fucking walkway that he should be on, like this dude with his clippers in his donny. If you notice that that guy there, he had his wankle angle with him. I suppose that's one deterrent, eh? When you think about it, if you take your wankle angle with you, <laughs> now I was going to take off your trailer. Steady as she goes, oh, steady as she goes. Ooh, I think I might have to just squeak that round just a little bit more. We're not quite in the in the hole. And Mr. Guy there with his truck there has decided to clamber in and in and out of his truck while I'm reversing. Mm, that's that's rather well, I ain't say nothing.
So, here we go. Oh, hang on, before we start. Knock that off, because we, we don't need that on, do we? It's alright. A little bit interrupted there, but anyway. Right. This is what you would do to drop the trailer, right? If he was going to be tested. Yes, tested. You walk around to the legs of the trailer. Pull the trailer brake. Wind your legs down. Now, because there's only the four wheels and this lift axle is off the floor, the legs of the trailer, bit of freedom, look, and that's what you need. Then we traverse back to the trailer. <sighs> we can go and collect our number plate, because we're on this side, we might as well walk around, haven't we? Collect the number plate in your hand. <sighs> oh, it's all good fun, isn't it? Nice. Pop that there for a second. And then we'll climb up here. Disconnect the lines. You'll suss it. Now that's done, climb back down again, and then we'll get to this. Take the clip out. Oh. And pull your pin. Did you like that? Was that fun? Oh, that was good, innit? <laughs> oh, hang on, mate. I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting what I've got to do in this fucking place, haven't I? <sighs> right, we've done all that, but I've got to take this off. We have to undo. Mm, hang on. I've been loose skin on my lip because of cold sore on my lip. We have to unclip the curtains for them. So, being as I've got to do it, you can come with me as well. Come on, you shit bag. because I'm back in the routine again. <laughs> right. And there you have it. For that bit. But... Uh, Give me a moment, I will be back. Just listen to the surroundings. Well, you can't, can you? Because the audio is coming with me. <laughs> Something up my nose, or my nose is having a rack off somewhere. I don't know what's going on with it. Hmm. 
Right. Well. Let's go and get this trailer. Let's go and get this trailer. Let's go get this trailer. I'm a going this way, you can go that way. I'm a going this way, you can go that way. <laughs> Ooh, nice. It's a nice, uh, nice contact that was. Get the L there and there. Come on, here you get. Boom! Have it. Yeah, I thought it might. Up, up. Okay, lights on, handbrake on, ignition off, turn the ignition back on, but not with the engine starting, which then gives the lights, they uh, obviously they'll work then, obviously. Hence the da 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 crap, which is rather annoying, but hey, whatever. We haven't got to worry about the unit, because the unit we've already done, which I did this morning, so I don't really bother about that, so. But we will do the reconnect, all right, this is the reconnect as you've noticed I'm gonna just fasten these few up here first and then we'll get on with it right then first things first Mr. Dunkley right there's the Dunkley happy fucking days that's on right Climb up here, and then we'll stick down. We'll skid in and 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 in Yellow airline, red airline, isn't that wonderful? Lights for your um, brake lights, side lights, hazard lights. This one is for your fog lights and your reversing lights. And this wonderful one here is your EBS ABS, just in case you was wondering. Right, we've done that little bit. I'm gonna go and put this on. Checking the tyres as we go. I have got to fasten the curtain up by the way, so get out of there with me in a bit. Perfect. Lovely. Check, 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 it check, check, check. Never mind. So once the brakes off, legs are up. Now I've got to do me uh, fasten all the curtain up now. So that's pretty much it, really. Not much to it. I can level it off before we fasten the curtain up. There's always that. Level. It's not that difficult really, is it, when you think about it? It's all right, isn't it? Da, 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 da.
this is the uh, well, yeah, it's it's the yeah yeah. Oh, there's a piece of. Sorry, not put the yeah. Uh, very odd. It's very odd indeed. Time consuming. Looks like they've uh, pulled them up for whatever reason. Pulled them up, which makes my life more difficult than what it needs to be. Why would you do that? Good grief, this is really fucking making it long-winded now. I've got a fanny about with these bloody things. Good heavens. And the last, last few are fine. <laughs> Other side. My fucking arm is breaking already. Bum, bum, ba, dum, bum, bum, bum. Yeah, da, 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 da. Turn them off, don't need them. Ooh la 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 Disco dancing Ooh la 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 Let's go dancing It's not bad really when you think about it and the amount of times I have to do it. I mean I've done 14 of them in a day, so you know, you tend to get used to the rhythm and it gets rather quick. So there's not really a lot that you need to do. <clears throat> but looks like we've got a bit of a queue getting out the gate. Oh, that's just fucked that is, isn't it? What's going on? And we are out of there. Brilliant stuff. Apologies for the cuts and chops in that little bit there, but I, unfortunately, without people's permission in certain aspects of things, you're not allowed. Because I can start going, Wee! Wee! What are you doing that for? Wee! You know what I mean? We don't want that, do we? No. We don't want that at all. But as you can see, this is not exactly the best of places to uh, try and get out because the road is one big curve. 
and then when you got all these well yeah like I say it's not exactly their fault because they haven't really got anywhere else to go but if they dug all this out right moved it over put a footpath further over and all that area there could then be parking zone for the, the trucks to get into that chip area and then they could uh, push back all the way down there as well and they could park and we wouldn't have a problem you would have thought right I mean you know bear with me on this one but you'll see me logic you would have thought being an industrial area knowing full fucking well that they have articulated vehicles traversing that particular place that they would allow space for them to hang around just in case because nothing's ever perfect but now some bell end with a fucking drawing board has gone and described all that shit up and not even considered the fact that articulated vehicles may have to hang around just a little bit fucking i'll tell you well i'll be honest with you though it's not this place as a, an isolated incident there are other areas that even the new ones they build all this shit up knowing full well that articulated vehicles are going to be supplying these buildings and yet they don't put anywhere for them to be and they put double yellow lines all over the place i'm like what the fuck are you doing which bellin come up with that idea you've got to give them somewhere to hang around and hold up for a moment you know what i mean if you don't want them there i don't know all night then put signs up saying x amount of hours wait or something like that you know or clear way between certain this and certain that but to actually have it so that you cannot stay there knowing full well like i say nothing's ever perfect it never goes swimmingly to give them somewhere to stop for a minute just in case they're either too early because they have a lot of foreign drivers coming down there so they might end up turning up a, a few hours early yeah what was that bug who swallowed a bug so of course they need somewhere to stop and if they, yeah they're gonna they're gonna sit themselves on double yellow lines or park them somewhere in front of that gate that i try to get into it's just daft it makes no sense whatsoever i mean you know what do you think am i right am i wrong am i talking stupid am i being too logical for the same person or whatever but i mean to me if you're gonna build somewhere that houses goods of some nature that has to be stocked using hgv articulated vehicles you need to have somewhere for them to wait floor it we're flooring it get rid of the indicator the indicator on moving over slowing down slowing right the way down Yes, I had a feeling Mr. Saab driver was going to do something stupid like that. Fucking absolute fucktard. But hey, whatever. What do you expect? He's a moron. Too fucking impatient. That's your problem. Oh, I'm cool. I've got my roof down with all my dangly beads over my mirror, obstructing my vision, and I go racing around the fucking traffic and cut through all sorts of shit. Because I'm better than you. I'm Mr. Roof down with dangly shit round my mirror. Twat! Well, that was just epic timing, that was, wasn't it? It's a nice old car, isn't it? Oh, look, a Mr. Van Driver. That's it. You just pull straight in front of me, dude. Where are you fucking going? Pick a line, will you? Make your mind up. Oh, 
Oh, nice and steady. Yeah, baby. Absolutely. Yeah, baby. Yeah, we can get just a little bit round this dude here. Oh, fucking sweet. See, anticipation that was. I fucking knew it. And once we are back in the yard, for me that is game over. Yeah, baby! I fucking hope so, anyone else will be crying if he thinks it's fucking four o'clock gone. Four o'clock! Oh, love it! Time for home. Can't believe it's four o'clock already. Where's the time flew from? Unbelievable. Here we go again. Around this lovely corner. Oh, no, 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 no. Here we go. Off they do. Keep an eye on the old mirrors there. And here we go again. Say, so just repeat, you know what I mean? Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Mm -mm -mm. Rinse and repeat. Just squeak it out, but just a titty bit. We've got plenty of room to get through. There you go, see? No problem at all. <coughs> I'm sure I've got bricks in my teeth. Ugh, hacky poo cack. I think it's brick dust actually, because We've got a, a, a quarry there sort of thing with dirt and we've got a, a place that makes bricks out of dirt. What? Essentially it is here really, when you think about it. I'm a going this way. Ooh, taps are flogging lately. Sweet as a nut. Yes. I can feel it in between my teeth. I have no idea what it is, but it's get on my fucking nerves. I have to swim my mouth out of me. Hang on. It'll all come out and watch. What do you mean? I'll show you. Taking off my seatbelt, cause I don't fucking need it. Ooh, shall I show on time? Why not? I'll show it here. Probably. Just enough. Perfect. Absolutely fucking awesome, that is. Sounds a pound. Hang on. It's like a brick dust in me gob. It's not good, is it? No, it's not good at all. Uh, let's get the old. Uh, yeah, let's drop this, drop this mother, and get out of here. I'm sure it's getting fucking warmer, you know. I am sure it is getting warmer. Once again, we will disconnect this because this is my way. My way, the highway. Click, click, plunk, click. Remember, this is my way. It's for speed, speed and efficiency. You know what I mean? Well, that's that kind of crap that goes with it.
La di da di da da. Number plane out. Try to bike on. Because the axles are down, give it a bit of pressure. And that is that. I've got to go and fetch a cock pin first, don't I? I mean, a king pin lock, a bell end lock, a fucking pan the arse, fucking racked off bag of shit lock. Dropping the suspension down, do 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 do. Take the arm back off, Jay, you bell end. What do you mean? <laughs> Perfect. Stop it there for a moment. Level. Level. Turn it off. Gonna give her a lock. Man. I bet you any money I've lost at least three pound in weight. I've got to have done. If I ain't, I'll have to have a stiff shit later. <laughs> perfect, fucking perfect. Okay. We are done. Ladies and jelly spoons, we are done. We're done. <laughs> we're done, we're done, we're done. Oh yeah, we're done all that, yeah. Right. Let's go find a hole and put this in. That's what it did. Come on, level off this stupid thing. That was weird. Well that is that. I'm done. End of game over and all the rest of it. So I'll leave you at that. I hope that was entertaining enough. Obviously I'm sure you lot will give me your comments down below. 
please give me your comments down below you know what I mean I like to read the comments that's my favorite part give it a thumbs up if you want to give it a thumbs up if you don't then don't but uh, it's up to you all I'm doing is this little bit of a journey with you lot just to keep you entertained okay so I'm gonna go and I'll speak to you a lot later bye bye toodle peep go on then off your pop pop poppity poppins <laughs> <laughs>